Many of us have been affected by the crisis happening in the world today, but something wonderful is happening, even as we speak. Everybody on earth, without exception, is longing for, seeking, aiming for, consciously or subconsciously, for unity, a sense of unity. What if cooperation could truly replace competition in every sphere? Maitreya and his group of masters have created hundreds and hundreds of signs for humanity to show that something tremendous is afoot. And these are known throughout the world, extraordinary, seemingly impossible happenings, but happenings which happen. talk about the need for peace, the need for justice in the world. But how do we get There's justice? only one way to achieve justice in the world. To see the world as one. Brothers and sisters of one humanity. And to share the resources of the world. Sharing is the key. Only sharing will produce the trust needed to end war forever. When we have sharing, we automatically have justice. When we have justice, we will have peace. Freedom, justice, sharing and peace all go together. One comes out of the other. They're all part of the same divine plan for humanity.
On April the 30th, 2007, just a little over three years ago, Israel Today ran this amazing headline story. Rabbi reveals the name of the Messiah. Rabbi Itzhak Kaduri was famously known for his memorization of the Bible, the Talmud, and other Jewish writings. He was a teacher and a revered master at Nahalat Yitzhak Yeshiva Seminary. He knew Jewish sages and celebrities of the last century and rabbis who lived in the Holy Land who kept the faith alive before the state of Israel was even born. Kaduri was not only highly esteemed because of his age of 108, but he was charismatic and wise. Chief rabbis looked up to him as a righteous man. Thousands visited him to ask for counsel or healing. His followers speak of many miracles, and his students say that he was a prophet of many disasters. A few months before Kaduri died at the age of 108, he surprised his followers when he told them that he had personally met the Messiah. The Messiah had appeared to him. He wrote the name of the Messiah in a note, he said. His official website had mentioned the Messiah note. David Kaduri, the rabbi's 80-year-old son, confirmed that in his last year, his father had talked and dreamed almost exclusively about the Messiah and his coming. My father has met the Messiah in a vision, he said, and he told us that he was coming very soon. Kaduri gave a message in his synagogue on Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, teaching how to recognize the Messiah. He also mentioned that the Messiah would appear to Israel after Ariel Sharon passed. When Kaduri died, January the 28th, 2006, more than 200,000 people joined the funeral procession on the streets of Jerusalem to pay their respects as he was taken to his final resting place. Shortly before he died, this teacher of Israel wrote the name of the Messiah on a small note which he requested would remain sealed for one year. One year later, the note was opened in 2007. When the note was opened, it read as follows. Concerning the letter abbreviation of the Messiah's name, he will lift the people and prove that his word and law are valid. The Hebrew sentence with the hidden name of the Messiah reads like this. The acronym of that sentence, that is the letter abbreviation that Kaduri spoke of, or the first initials of each word, spell the Hebrew name of Jesus or Yehoshua, or Yeshua, the Hebrew root word of salvation. When the name of Yehoshua appeared in Kaduri's message, ultra-Orthodox Jews from his seminary in Jerusalem argued that their master must not have left the exact solution for decoding the Messiah's name. The revelation received scant coverage in the Israeli media. Only the Hebrew websites, News First Class, and Kaduri.net mentioned the Messiah's note, both of them insisting that it was authentic. Israel Today spoke to two of Kaduri's followers in Jerusalem who admitted that the note was authentic, but very confusing for his followers as well. We have no idea how the rabbi got to this name of the Messiah, one of them said. I know this, the answer of the identity of the Messiah as Jesus, given to Kaduri supposedly, is absolute truth. As such, I believe it had to have been revealed from Jesus himself appearing to Kaduri, much the same as Jesus appeared to the Jewish Pharisee, Paul, on the road to Damascus 2,000 years ago. It is amazing that the leading Jewish teacher of Israel until 2006 would, on his deathbed, proclaim in a message that Jesus Christ is the Messiah and is soon to return. That is astounding and almost unthinkable. It is also amazing that he was specifically told that Jesus would return shortly after Ariel Sharon's death. As of the making of this film, Ariel Sharon is still alive in a coma. Could it be that this modern day Apostle Paul received from the Lord Jesus that his return is indeed very very soon.
Son of Man, from Sheer International Magazine, June 1984. Many people await the return of the Christ with trepidation and fear. They sense that his appearance will promote great changes in all departments of life. His values, they rightly assume, will necessarily alter their ways of thinking and living and they blanch at such a prospect. Besides, so mystical has been the view of the Christ presented down the centuries by the churches that many fear his judgment and omnipotent power. They await him as God come to punish the wicked and reward the faithful. It is sadly to be regretted that such a distorted vision of the Christ should so have permeated human consciousness. No such being exists. In order to understand the true nature of the Christ, it is necessary to see him as one among equal sons of God each endowed with full divine potential. Differing only in the degree of manifestation of that divinity. That he has achieved the fullness of that divinity is his glory. And well may we stand in reverence at such achievement. That this same achievement is rare indeed is also indisputably true. But the wonder of the Christ for men is that he was one of them. Not there is in the trials and sufferings of men, but he did know it. You said he is here now. He, he is, is not yet alive. active. I, I have heard this, that, He's that alive. the Antichrist is now alive. And he cannot die and Christ kills him. He has this pseudo-immortality. And don't ask me where, how, who, what. Um, how do we...